guys, it's Lauren, and in this video, I'm going to be updating you guys on my 24-week pregnancy update. I am 24, I'm actually 25 weeks tomorrow, but I didn't want to film my 24-week update until it was like over. So, let me update you with my symptoms, how I've been feeling, little things that I've been going through, and all that good stuff. I'm going to right away show you my belly bump just so I don't forget because I have a tendency of forgetting at the end of the video because I have like pregnancy brain and all that good stuff. So let me show you that. I'm not sure if you could tell, but my bump is really big. It's a big round belly. My lighting is horrible. I know I apologize. It is like, what time is it? 5.47 in the afternoon and I have like no daylight and I don't have like my filming lights anymore um, just because it took up so much space so I put them like in the trash can because they were broken and it was just they were so like like they were they would tip over easy so yeah I need to get like a little ring light but hopefully this light is good enough for now um, again I will be 25 weeks tomorrow so on Thursday, which is January, because I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, January 4th, I'll be 25 weeks. So <laughs> I'm excited. I am six months pregnant, over six months pregnant. I will be in my third trimester soon. Um, the symptoms that I've been having, I have really bad heartburn that I get all times of the day. I don't have any morning sickness except for when I'm brushing my teeth. Um, I do get a, like really nauseous when I'm brushing my teeth and some of the times I actually do throw up. Um, but if I'm not brushing my teeth, I really don't get nauseous unless I don't eat or if I'm dehydrated, which that's one thing that I really am trying to focus on is staying hydrated and drinking a ton of water. I love water like water is my favorite beverage I drink water every day and if I don't I will get dehydrated really quickly but with this pregnancy like it's harder for me to drink water like I've been craving like juices and um, sweet teas and stuff like that which I haven't really gave into that craving of sweet teas but I did have a couple Pepsis here and there which caffeine makes me sick so I kind of have to not drink it sick with me being pregnant like normally I can have some caffeine but now that I'm pregnant it's like the caffeine makes me really dizzy really lightheaded another symptom that I've been having I get out of breath which that's honestly that was the early on symptom but I feel like the later that I am in my pregnancy I'm feeling really lightheaded um, if I get up too fast I feel lightheaded if I'm just like watching TV and I kind of just look to one side I feel lightheaded um, so yeah, that's like really something that kind of makes me nervous because I do have anxiety. I do have panic attacks and when I have like a panic attack coming, I feel really dizzy and like it's kind of like an outer body, outer body experience. So it kind of just makes me a little nervous. Um, but yeah, I, I don't like that, but it's not like to the point where I pass out or anything like that, thankfully. Um, my hands really aren't swollen. Um, I'm still wearing my wedding ring. I will say that my wedding band is a little tight. So like in the middle of the night, I wake up and my fingers sometimes get swollen depending on what I ate before I went to bed. So I just kind of just wear my uh, wedding ring and not my wedding band. And I did take off the ring that I normally wear here just because my fingers are a little swollen but not to the point where I have to take off my wedding rings. And I am having a boy if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen like my gender reveal. I am having a baby boy. I already have a baby girl. I'm really traumatized on giving birth just because my first one with Peyton, my first experience, I did do natural. I had no epidural and she was a huge baby. She was 9 pounds, 6 ounces, 21 and a half inches long and I was in labor for about 13 hours, a little over 13 hours. So I'm really hoping that I could do it again. And I will do like a video, a separate video, like on tips on how to do a natural um, birthing experience without an epidural because I have some tips that have helped me. And I actually saw um, a video just, just literally today of a girl doing like five tips on how she did her natural um, delivery experience with a no epidural this I guess it, I think it was her second time doing it without an epidural this will be my second time doing it without an epidural um, thinking positive because I am dead set on I do not want an epidural there's nothing wrong if you get an epidural it's just me personally I'm terrified of epidurals <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna not try to do that um, 
but yeah what else i feel like i should have wrote things down because i feel like i'm just like rambling because i haven't filmed in so long um it's 2018 so this is my first video for the 2018 and i'm really hoping that i can kind of kick start my youtube channel and film more and just have more content and just have like more content for you guys and i don't really want to have like a new year's resolution i don't want to say a new year's resolution out loud i kind of have them in here and i just want to show y'all my news re my new year's resolutions um like i want to put it into action i don't really want to like list all my my new year's resolutions because i feel like every year i fail <laughs> and i know that's sad but it's like this year i want to try something different and i just kind of want to focus on myself and just push myself and let my actions do all the talking. Um, so yeah, um, we are gonna go and register for my registry at Babies R Us. I do wanna register at Target, but I'm gonna do my, my Babies R Us today. Um, and again, I really hope that the lighting is not that bad and pardon my mess and all that stuff. My bed's not even made. So I'm pretty sure you can see it in the mirror. <laughs> um, what else, what else? Oh, my doctor's appointment is tomorrow. My uh checkup which i actually had to cancel i think the last two or three because one of the times peyton was sick one of the times i was sick one of the times she had a parade and like it was it's been crazy because of the holidays so it was just really hard to get in there um so tomorrow is my appointment and i will i guess go over my results from my anatomy scan um, which I'm pretty sure everything's okay because I'm pretty sure they probably would have called me if there was like anything to be worried about um, But yeah, I, that's that right there is what we're gonna probably go over and I don't know if I'm gonna do my gestational Diabetes testing tomorrow since I am gonna be 25 weeks. They do that anywhere from 24 to 28 weeks So I may possibly do that as well. I'm not really sure um, But I am gonna be filming a baby haul of all the things that I got for Christmas and my sister got me um, some outfits for the baby and yeah I'm gonna be showing them to you guys a lot of people are asking me if I have a name for our son yet and I don't Chris and I have not agreed on a name that we both like love I will say boy names are very extremely hard to like agree on one I have like a couple that I really like Nothing that I like love. By this time, when I was pregnant with Peyton, we already had a name. Uh, we named her at 20 weeks. Uh, when we, right when we found out she was a girl, we named her like that day or the very next day. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed that we don't have a name yet. But you know, I'm not gonna stress out because I know that you know we'll have one and <laughs> there's no rush. Um, I'm cleaning out his nursery. Well, the room that's gonna be his nursery, which was Peyton's room. We moved her room into her playroom. Like we combined them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean that out, sanitize everything, and then we have a dresser that we got for Christmas for um, the baby that my parents bought, and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited because I've been wanting this dresser for so long. And I'm not gonna tell you like everything that I have for him because I wanna show you what I have for him. I'll probably try to film that video when his dresser's built. I told Chris to kind of like hold off on building it just because there's a couple things that I need to get out of that room. Um, so I don't want to build it yet until it's like all empty so I can start putting stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I'm really rambling. What else? What else? What else did I want to talk about? Oh, um, there was a, like a week period that I was sick. Um, I was sick with the stomach bug, which was brutal, but not as brutal as what happened the next day. Like after I got over after I got over my stomach bug, um, I was like constipated and I know this is TMI and I know... This is probably embarrassing for some people, but I am a person who I'm pretty open. I mean, I basically share my life on YouTube. Um, and I feel like a lot of people go through this and they don't like talking about it. And I'm thinking about doing a video just dedicated on this topic, just because when I was going through it, I was actually going through YouTube trying to look up natural techniques on how to deal with the constipation while being pregnant because when you're pregnant, you can only do so much. You can only take so much. And I'm the type of person I don't like taking medicine, even if I'm okay with taking it. Like even if I have the okay for my doctor on taking it, I don't really like to. So I kind of just want to show tips of like what I did to get through it, which my mom helped me tremendously because she is a nurse and she knows a lot more. She's had four kids and I'm pretty sure she's probably experienced this as well sometime in her life or whatever. So yeah, she helped out tremendously. Um, so I'll do a separate video on that. So if you're interested, just be on the lookout. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. We actually hit over 12,000 subscribers and I just, I cannot believe that I even have 
a hundred people watching my YouTube channel just because it's like I feel like I'm so boring and I don't know like it's just it's it's so awesome to know that 12,000 of you guys are tuning into my channel and being a part of my channel and being a part of our life it's just amazing it's an amazing feeling um, and I really hope to bring you more into my life and show you more aspects of my life and the struggles that we go through because I want to keep it real on my channel um, like everything's not like hunky dory we don't have like all this money we don't have a huge house um, we have you know everybody has struggles and I feel like sometimes with YouTube channels they only show you like all the good stuff and they kind of make their life look perfect and they make it look like everything is all in place and yo some of y'all might have even thought that with me because I've had people with like you know my older videos talking about oh you know you have a beautiful house you have you know all these things that it made it look like you know I had my stuff together but believe me I don't have my stuff together I'm a mess a hundred percent of the time basically um, but yeah I just want to bring you along my life and just show you like raw marriage life I mean it's not always perfect you have your ups and downs and you know just basically I want to do like my channel has always been like lifestyle slash like beauty and all that stuff but I want to kind of make it I kind of want to just like overall channel like where you could come to my channel and you could get like lifestyle videos you could get hauls you can have makeup because I mean you can be a mom and love makeup you know what I mean like so I, I kind of just want to do a, just a mixture of things on my channel and uh, I want to I really want to try to upload more so I'm gonna try to do that and I need to push myself so if you guys can leave some motivating comments for me in the comment section that would be much appreciated because sometimes I need a kick in my butt um, to get me started and to pull out all my equipment especially not having like lighting it's really like a setback just because I feel like oh I don't want to film and this horrible lighting but I mean you got to start somewhere and I need to make that money so I can get me a little ring light that's like my next YouTube goal is to get that um, but yeah I need to stop rambling I feel like I've been talking for about 10 minutes I don't even know but I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next video I really hope that you subscribe and yeah love you guys bye